Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Native Flat List Pagination. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share, or comment on my video. So let's get started. So here you can see that the flat list pagination. So here when I click on the load more, you can see that the next data is coming up. When I click on the load more, again, the next data is refreshing up. Okay. So how we are going to implement this? So let's get started how we are going to do that. So here we go with the code level. So first of all, we have to use the React use state use, and then use effect. Why are we using the use effect? Because we have to hit the API and get the data. So I'm calling that in the use effect. Then we have the safe area, view, text, touchable, opacity, style sheet, flat list, and activity indicator from the React Native. Okay. So first of all, we have the loading and the set loading. Okay. We have the loading part, right? Data source, we are here and the offset. So currently, which offset, which page number we want to get the data. Okay. Then in the use effect, we are calling the get data and the get data have the API call. Okay. So here, first of all, the set loading is to be true. Okay. After fetching the data, making it to be the false. Okay. So set loading is to be the false, you know, loader. Then if any error occurs, then it go to the error. So make sure I am using the dummy json.com rest APIs. Okay. And here you can see that I'm setting all the data into the data first, whatever we have the data, then whatever the data coming back into that, we are going to pushing it. Okay. So basically it's a cloning. So first, whatever the data we have, the next one, the next one we are pushing up. Okay. Then we are set the offset also by increase by one. So like one page, two page, three page, according to it, getting the data. Okay. Next, we have the render footer. That we have the load more button. So on press, get data. So whenever you click on the load more button, so next API would call and get the next data. Okay. So here we have the styles dot load mode and here we have the get data on press. Then it will call the get data function again with the offset. Okay. The next we have the item view so here we have the item view that is here you can see that this is the list part so that we calling the item view so here we have a text and the odd item title dot uppercase so all the have the uppercase you can see that over here all have uppercase right next we have the item separator so here you can see that the, we have the item separator also here you can see we have a separator part right so we have adding with the help of the item separator then we are getting the item, get item. So whenever I click on that on press, so item will pop up with the thing. ID 10 title this one. Okay. So this is the alert part that we are using over here. Next, that is the main component. Here we have the flat list. Data source. Okay. Key extractor. And then we have item separator. So we have added over here. Enable empty sections. True. And render item that is item view so here we can see that the item view with the help of this uh, item dot title in the uppercase right then we have a render item item view then list footer render footer so where we have the like you can say that the load more button so it will come up with the list footer component that is render footer so this is the component that is load more okay so this is how we are able to accomplish about the react native flat list pagination okay so in the next video what we are going to do like uh, load more button is not something like we can go for it i think so if you have the requirement you can go for it next i think on on scroll what we can do in the next video on scroll we can load the data that would be the better option right so in the next video we are going to do do that one okay so thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day